Hey guys, I'm JD Ross and today I'm going to teach you how to do both Windows and SteamOS on the Steam Deck. Now this tutorial is inspired by Deck Wizard's dual boot tutorial. My refined initial installation will be exactly the same as Deck Wizard's. The link to his channel will be in the description if you want to check his videos. Let's start with the requirements. You're going to need a USB hub, a flash drive that's at least 8GB, and a mouse and keyboard. I'm using a mouse and keyboard from Logitech, both connected to a single dongle. I would also recommend something like this. It's a RII i4 mini which is a Bluetooth keyboard, but could also connect to a dongle like this one, which is what you're going to need in this tutorial. Before we start, make sure that you have enough space. I have 276 gigabyte of space and I will give 120 gigabytes for Windows. For our first step, open console. We will be implementing a password for your Steam Deck. Type P-A-S-S-W-D. Type your password, preferably something simple like 1234 or deck, something like that. And while you are typing, you will not see what you are typing, so be careful. Click enter, type it again, click enter. That's it. And then we're going to install Ventoy on your flash drive. Let's plug it in. I'm going to mount the flash drive. Right click on Ventoy. This file is on description. Extract third option. Open the Ventoy folder. And then make sure that this is set to executable. Like this. Double click on it. Type the password that you have set and then make sure that your flash drive is selected. Click install. Okay. Okay again. And then click mount and open. And then let's go back to my downloads. In the description, you will find these files, Steam Deck drivers, Gparted, and Windows. If you don't want to use my Windows and let's say you want to use Windows 11 from the Microsoft website, that's okay. It's going to be the same process. But I highly recommend using Windows 10 on the Steam Deck because the keyboard on Windows 11 on the Steam Deck looks weird. And the multitasking swipe gesture is missing on the Windows 11, which is why I prefer Windows 10. Copy all this to your flash drive, your Ventoy flash drive. Okay, copying is done and uh, I just want to say that make sure that you're using a USB 3 flash drive. I had to switch to another flash drive that's faster than this one because this one is a USB 2 flash drive and it sucks. It's very slow in copying these files. Make sure that your flash drive is fast enough. For the next step, we will install Refind. Before we start typing, make sure that whatever I type, you type exactly the same. We're going to type sudo space btrfs space, property, space, set, space, dash, ts, space, forward slash, space, ro, space, false. And then type your password. Next is sudo, space, pacman, dash key space double dash in it and then hit enter next is sudo space pacman dash key space double dash populate space Arch Linux. Hit enter. And then wait. There we go. After that's done, type sudo space pacman space dash capital S space refined. Hit enter. 
and then hit enter again. The next command is sudo space refind dash install hit enter. And that's it for the SteamOS side of the installation. We're now going to shut down. And for this next step, we're going to resize the Steam Deck SSD in order to give space for Windows. Make sure that your Ventoy flash drive is attached to your Steam Deck. Hold volume down and then press the power button once. And then go down here to Olympus Light, press A. Using your keyboard, select Gparted and then press Enter. Press Enter again and then Enter. When this appears, press enter again, enter, enter. When this appears, you're going to have to either turn the Steam Deck or turn your head. I'm just going to turn my head. Click here, select your SSD, minus NVMe 0N1. And if let's say you have a plugged in SD card, that's also the same size as your SSD. To check which one is which, click on uh, the first one that you see, and then see if you have a partition called home. If so, that's your SSD. What you're gonna do is right click on home, resize. I'm going to allot 120 gigabytes for Windows. In order to do that, you're gonna have to convert 120 gigabytes and convert it to mebibytes. So 120 gigabytes is 122,880 megabytes, and then click resize, and then click this check button, hit apply. If you have a lot of games in your Steam Deck, and it's a huge capacity, like a 1 terabyte just like mine, it might take a while. Now that's complete, click close, exit, double click on exit. And then shut down. And then click enter to fully shut down. Our next step is installing Windows. Hold volume down. Press on the power button. Go to Linpus again. Click A. Navigate to the Windows installer. Mine is called 21H2x64, and then press enter. Press enter again. Now the Windows installer will be sideways again. Click next. Install now. I'm going to choose DLA. DLA is a uh, pre-activated version of Windows and then press enter and then accept next click custom scroll down until you find a drive that says drive unallocated space and it should be 120 gigabyte just like we made it click new apply okay and then install Windows on that partition. Make sure that it's selected. Click Next. Click OK. And we're now installing Windows. Now the installation is done, it's going to reboot to Windows. Now that we are in Windows, the first thing we're going to do is rotate the screen. Go to search and type display and click this option. 
scroll down, set digital landscape, keep changes. And after that, we're going to shut down for now. I'm going to show you something first. We're going to go to the boot menu by holding down the volume down and press the power button. As you see here, Windows Boot Manager is on the top, meaning if you try to boot the Steam Deck, it will boot to the Windows instead of booting to the Refined Boot Manager. What we're going to do is disable this Boot Manager so we could boot to the Refined right away. Let's go back to SteamOS. Open console and then type sudo space efi boot mgr and then hit enter. Type your password and then hit enter. Now this is the boot order of our Steam Deck. The first one is 4, which is Windows. The second one is 3, which is Refined. And the third one is 2, which is SteamOS. So we're going to disable Windows Boot Manager. Type sudo space efi boot mgr space dash b space the number of windows which is 4 space dash capital A and then press enter as you see here the asterisk after the number 4 is gone which means this windows boot manager is now disabled let's see what happened as you see we now only have refined boot manager and steam os meaning if we turn on the steam deck it will boot right into the refine let's see how it looks like As you see here, Microsoft Windows is still detected. The second option is SteamOS, but we're going to continue to Windows for now. So select Windows and then press Enter. If your flash drive is not detected on Windows, just unplug it and then plug it again. Let's open the Venter flash drive. And then we're going to install the Steam Deck drivers. If you download it from the Steam Deck website, it will be differently named but the order of installation will be the same between the website and mine. There we go. By the way, if your micro SD card is still attached to your Steam Deck, after you install the SD card, pop-ups will appear and it will, it will try to tell you to format the micro SD card, but do not format it. Just click cancel. In my case, it didn't appear because I don't have my micro SD card attached to it right now. For the next step, we're going to turn off Hibernate. So type CMD. Run as administrator. And then type power cfg dot exe space slash hibernate space off for the next step we're going to deal with refined i changed the theme to dark mode so you could see it properly click on this pc and then open efi drive d go to efi folder and then refined Double click on refine.conf, more apps, and then search for Notepad. Make sure that always use this app is checked. And then click OK. On your keyboard, click Control F, and then type resolution space 3, and then click Enter. And then delete the number sign on the beginning of the line just like that this will turn refine to landscape instead of portrait like we saw earlier Control f again type enable space mouse scroll down a bit and you will see this remove the number sign again just like that this will enable the use of trackpad for refine 
because it's starting on the SteamOS 3.3, Refine is bugged and the D-pad is not working on Refine anymore, which is why we had to do that. And then Control S to save. And then let's shut down for now. We're going to look how Refine looks like. As you see here, we now have trackpad control, but we can't use the D-pad or touch. We can only use the trackpad and then if you want to click something, you have to use R2 or the right trigger. As you see here, we have Windows, SteamOS, and the other penguins. So use your keyboard and then select one penguin and then on your keyboard, press the minus button and then yes do that again until everyone is gone if done right you should be left with windows and steam os at this point we're pretty much done but i'm going to show you how to use a theme in order to make this look good let's go to windows Open the Refine folder again. In here, we're going to paste the themes. The download link will be in the description. Open Refine Conf. And then on the description, there will be a text that you will put here at the bottom. On the last bracket, press Enter twice. And then put this command on that part of Refind. This is so Refind will use the Refind theme instead. Now this is the name of the theme that I'm using. If you want to use a different theme, you could always search on the internet. But I would recommend using my theme as a starting point and then modify the images in there to your liking. Control S to save. And then you can close it. We will now look at the theme folder so I could show you something. Open the theme.conf. Let's scroll down. At this part, you could change the refine buttons under the Windows and SteamOS selection. In my case, I have shutdown and firmware. Also, if you downloaded a theme and it has a line don't scan deers, make sure that ES ESP EFI boot Microsoft is not included there. If you see it, delete it. Otherwise, you cannot boot to Windows, at least not via Refind. But if for some reason you messed up and use a theme that caused the Windows option to disappear, I will show you how to boot to Windows back again in order to use my theme again. Hold the volume up and then press the power button. And then here, go to boot from file, press A. The first option is called ESP. That's the option that you want, press A. EFI, Microsoft, boot, and then at the very bottom, select bootmgfw.efi. That will send you back to Windows. And then you can now use my theme again in order to bring back the Windows option. So how exactly do you customize the theme that I was using? Go to Refine folder. themes and then the background is this one background dark you can change that to any image that you want make sure that it's the same size in this case it's 1080p now this image is 1080p image but the reason it looks okay on the steam deck even though the display is 800p is because it's only a plain color but if you want to use an image that has something on it and you don't want anything to be cut off, make sure that the image is set to the right size, which is 1280 by 800. Now this selection is the tiny little arrow that appears whenever you're choosing the OS. On this icon start folder, you will see the icons for the theme. For Windows, it's OS Win 8. And for Steam OS, it's OS Unknown. You can edit it to whatever you want. But make sure that the image size is 1288 by 128. And that's it. That's how we dual boot Windows and SteamOS. If you have any questions, you can comment it down below. 
and I will try to answer it as best as I can. Or you could also join us on Discord so we could talk properly. And so other people could also help you in there. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.